Hello there everyone on YouTube, welcome to another episode here on the Beastman campaign. So we are just um, trying to micro a little bit of our armies um, around these places. So for now, I do need growth, I'm actually gonna have that. Yeah, I'm actually gonna have that so that I can go for this or for the Centigars. I don't know which one is the best, but I think the Centigars, or even the Giant Slayer. Yeah, I think the Giant's there, so that I can have some Giants, that'll be nice. Um, for now, we're having to manage these uh, Hawkland uh, armies while trying to attack the Middenheim. In terms of objectives, all that I have to do is raise five settlements. That'll be the Middenheim ones. So, yeah, we can do that easily. Yeah, we can do that easily. Uh, for now, I'll, I gotta make sure that I don't have surprises from the as well. That'll clear up a lot of stuff. So I do have a Brayherd that is trying to attack there. It managed to win. That's good. They got destroyed, but they must have had a lot of lots of losses and they are not replenishing. So maybe I can finish them off. Oh, and there's a Brayherd there attacking as well, so that's cool. Yeah, they got a victory and that's some decisive defeats. Oh, and I've been forgetting about my agent. Where is he? Hang on a second, let me check here. Scarity is wounded. Uh, this guy is the Puff Marshmallow Man. I will not obey. This guy, come on, can he do anything here? He can try to assassinate, but that's not effective. Not effective as well. How about here? Can try to assassinate a lot of guys. Can try. Oh, can try to assault units. Yeah, but he doesn't have a lot of targets where he can do stuff. Like I can try to do this. My hero wouldn't go into too much wounds, so let's try. Failure. It's fine. Still gets experience here. I'll ignore that. Yeah, let's try and attack that guy. Can I hit him? I think I can. I don't know, let's see. Okay, this guy doesn't have a lot of movements, so he's just gonna upgrade that. There we go. No! But I should be able to attack it. Let me see if I can attack there. Like, this army has nothing, these guys are even good against them. Let me see if I can attack them. Yep, this is probably an ambush. Great. So since it is an ambush, I'm gonna get a lot of good, um, a good targets for everyone. So he has four, five artillery units, that means a couple of Minotaurs on the other side would be nice. And then he has a lot of captains, so this time yeah, I'm gonna have like the shielded ones attack over there, and the unshielded ones attack here with these guys. There we go. These guys are just gonna attack those. That's cool. There we go. These guys are gonna attack over there on the main battle line. These are gonna attack here. I'm gonna have this guy here. Actually, I'm gonna send him in melee, because he's a powerful melee as well. And where I need my archers is actually here. So there we go. Group 3 and Group 4 are going to attack first. There we go. These guys are going to go over here, this guy is going to take there. There we go. There we go. So arches and everything is done. Let's attack over there. Let's try to get that Luminarch there. 
And it seems like everyone is done for it. Yeah, there we go. Finished. Everyone is dead right now. So the enemy lord is dead as well. There we go. Minotaurs with great weapons. I haven't suffered too much. These Minotaurs a little bit. But that's fine. You know. There we go. Let's attack that one. Actually, no. Let's keep going on this Luminarch. Need to kill it. There we go. Come on. Just want to kill those. And that's the end. Good. So that's two less armies, actually three, because the other Brayherd might have destroyed the other one. So that's cool. Hawkland is suffering a lot. Good replenishment, that's perfect. We got a totem of rusts. Let me see what happens. Okay, this guy didn't get skills, but this one did. Alright can get the crown of command. I like the potion more. Skills. Alright, let me see. Woundmaker, more weapon strength. More hit points. I like the hit points there. Oh, I can't attack this guy. Yeah, but there's nothing there, so there's no problem. And this guy is building up and recruiting or replenishing. That's perfect stuff. I could actually recruit another army just to finish this up, but it won't be necessary. So Auckland is trying, but not succeeding. Oh, they're gonna try to attack me there. They didn't. So I can move in, and that will be nice. The Dark Moon. I like this, the casualty replenishment. Almost fight is good, but... This one is good, but I don't like the campaign movement range. This is good, but the upkeep is really bad. So let's go with the 1-1 one, one Falls. Already had the construction complete here. That's nice. So I can finish off Hawkland there. I don't know if they will be in range. I don't think they will. But with this guy, I might be in range. Which would be the ideal thing, because this army can pretty much be destroyed with whatever is left, and then I would be able to attack here with this guy. But let me just see if I can actually move this guy nearby, which is the most important one. There we go. Can they attack? Yes, they can. So let me just send this guy... Do I have any room for him? No. So, I'm gonna try and kill someone. That's, that's a very powerful target. This one is better. Failure, but he's still... No, he's still gaining some experience there. Absolutely so, let's not. attack these guys. That would be a, a nice battle. Oh, they moved away. That wasn't expected. That was not expected. I refuse. So that's not good at all. So let's just move in range of this guy. There we go. They are in range of each other, so they will cover each other, and that's it. That's good. Now there's a lot of uh, abilities going on here. There's a lot of uh, agents attacking and spamming abilities, so that's... That's really annoying. But oh well. Hopefully they won't do too much damage. Most of them try to assault, and I have a good re replenishing run. Some failures, some success, some failures, two failures and two successes. That's still nice. So this is fully replenished. This is kinda replenished. I would be able to attack there, but I actually want to go over to Eden Stag. What are the garrisons here? Nothing that I can, should be worried about. So let me just move them together. This is mainly to make sure that this, uh, these other guys don't assault me or anything. And yeah, this is going to be another resolve. Good. Let's loot and raise. 
I want to make sure I don't have any problems with the upkeep. I have very large upkeep right now. Skills. Let's see here. Oh, I should get this for more income. It actually helps out in the near end. Oh, it's not this guy. Who needs some skill points? The Bray Shaman. Right, so let's have him have some more abilities. This curse, this spawns a manticore. Right, I would love to know what that is. Uh, let me check on diplomacy. Let me see if this Brayheart actually wants to try They rejected it. That's fine. That's fine. Can you. Can any of you move? No, they can't. Alright, that's fine. It's fine as well. Let's go over to Winter Guard. Probably Middenheim is going to try to de to defend its place. They're going to show up with their army. And it's going to be too late. I don't, I'm probably going to be able to avoid them for the time being. And I have a, a Rayhurt here as well. It can get Beastial Rage or it can get some more Corruption. Now let's go to continue that. I'm not in... I'm not needing the Beastial Rage actually. You know. I'll ignore that. Yep. Yeah. I'm not in need of that. I could attack that army and probably this Brayheart would destroy that. So let's attack that. In the meantime, I can actually attack here. Can I reach it? I don't know. Let me move here. Oh there's some armies. Not right, like so them. this is a dangerous place to be, so let me just make sure that I don't have any problems. There we go. Probably gonna have a Brayheart there. So this guy is gonna take there and finish up one. I'll be back in 30 minutes. Alright, Nick Master, thank you for, for being there. I'll no. be waiting for you. No. Probably you'll still arrive for a couple of battles here. So there's going to be a major battle, right? Uh, not right that. now. I refuse. I refuse. Yeah, these guys not are likely. all in range. No. This guy is not, which is good because that's the best army he has. Right. So let's end up to turn. Yeah, that was uh, that retreated from the the Brayheart. Good, and he's out of range now. So I can move that Brayherd against that army. That will attack, which is good. There's another Brayherd. So this one should be able to attack here in the next turn. And this one. I will not obey. I will not obey. Yeah, there's this Brayherd here, so this guy. Should be able to take one of them. It has three giants. Like, look at the hit points on those guys. You know, and I thought the Chaos Spawn and the Sigurds had hit points. I mean, look at these guys. Melee attack 68. That's even bigger than that. Let me check my... my. It's much better than the Minotaur. So those giants just rip apart. Them. Or rip them apart. Sorry about that. Oh, I would be able to build this. This gives unit experience and more armor and melee attack, but it's too expensive. I think the Giant Slayer will be the next. So yeah, but for now I don't, wouldn't need that. I want to attack Untergard. Yeah, there we go. So let's go over here. Should I raid 800 and this guy would allow 856? That's not enough. So no. I'm pretty sure that all that I need is to attack and take out there. Yeah, it's an auto-resolve. There we go. And loot and raise is all that I need. Perfect. So, did I lose too many units? Not at all. Not at all. Let me check the skill points. Malagor. Let's get this as well. And there's nothing else that needs skill points? No. Can this guy encamp? He can. There we go. 
negative outcome too much. Negative outcome too much. I don't like that. Where's this guy? Uh, I should be checking these guys as or using these guys as spies actually, because that's the best way. There we go. Raise three from the Empire provinces. The Shadowgor tribe will respect you. All right. So these guys, let's see if they want to confederate. No, low. They want me to raise three settlements. I think if I do that, I'll actually win, so yeah. And I gotta make sure that Boris is in a wounded state. Right, so I'll have to hunt him down. I'll have to hunt him down. Alright, that's that's no problem. I can actually go over here to Lear and just Absolutely make sure that he tries not. to come in. And El Ellenhoff. Ellenhoff has a good garrison, so there's this, this one. So there's this one. Yeah, I should be going over there, actually, before. Well, can I build the giant's lair? Not really. Oh well. Let's see what I can do. End the turn for now. And let's see if Boris moves in. Hey, they were... There's a flying guy there. Okay, so they are attacking some tribes and cleaning them up, which means that I won't have those missions for too long. Maybe I can attack these Mirenheim units if they are depleted. My Braidhood was destroyed and those Shadow Cards as well. There's a Fearic victory here. Not likely. Oh, there's Boris! <laughs> Let's attack him! Actually, they got the victory there. I wonder if they will be able to wound Boris. That would be nice. I could attack this guy no. and avoid any no, reinforcements, likely. and then attack the city with all the reinforcements. Yeah, so that's exactly what I'm gonna do. You can move in. Like here. This shaman. Let me just check what's going on over there. I want to make sure that there's not a lot of troops here. Salt units is a 34%. Critical failure. He was wounded. But I managed to check out some stuff. That is good. Um, so this guy is going to take here and use the lightning strike. I actually got an ambush, so it's even better. Now, they do have some Demigriff Knights and Great Swords, but this is not not ideal for him. Yeah, let's attack here. So long as we get these ambushes, it's perfect, perfect for us. Now, is my web camera too high? I think it is. It's too big. Yeah, now it's better, right? I think it's better. No, I could be like here, but that will mean that my posture is not good. So, sorry about that. Okay, let's start deployment. This Saigar is gonna go here. He's gonna attack these Outriders. Uh, there's my Chaos Warhounds. I always do the same tactic. Basically, the same tactic. Let's have these guys here. The Sons of the One-Eye. These guys will join up forces, as I want them. Beastigor hurts. They're just gonna hold the line here. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. Let's go over there and go over there. There we go. Demigriff Knights, they're trying to attack there. It's fine. Mm -hmm. 
There we go. There's some pistoliers here who are already routing. It's good. They're broken. They're broken. And over here, everything seems to be breaking up as well. Those demigriff knights, they can't do too much. Okay, let me check these. Just in case. Some vigor to catch those. Let's do the same. Where are my... Chaos Warhounds? There we go. I know that it's over, but still, I love it. Love to see this. Those guys are dead. Those guys are dead. Why isn't it giving the end battle? Oh, finally. Finally it is. That's because the enemy lord wasn't dead. Let's attack those. There we go. These guys have a lot of speed, so they will catch them up, you know. As you can see there, it's just a slaughter there. That's good. Always nice to see these guys die. Let's fast forward. Now I have a lot of forces who are coming in from this side, as you can see. But that's okay. I'm pretty sure that this is going to be over. There's one Albedir there, and there's another one there, so end the battle. Good. That was cool. 60 <laughs> losses against such an army. You know, they have four good units plus their general. So, yeah, that's that's nothing to those, you know. Hey, nice loot. Nice loot. That helps out so much. So, I actually am able to move these guys. Actually, they are already in range. In order to attack this place. Yeah, this isn't too important. And the forces on Lear, they have some good forces. But still, they're not as important. Ooh, how about if I do a lightning strike? Only those guys don't show up. Yeah, but it's not that good, actually. They still have a lot of units. So no. Let's actually break the siege. I want them to try and attack me here. I think it's better. Because that way I'll have the ambush. You know, and maybe that will draw them a little bit. Let me see. Ambush chance. Let me put them on a 70% place. And the same thing here. 78%. Perfect. So even though they have checked me out, pretty sure that they will get ambushed there. I think that it is time to, f to finish my episode for YouTube. So thank you guys for watching on YouTube, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Cheers!